For more than 12 million Pennsylvanians, he is the conscientious public representative of their interests, their hopes, and their dreams. For 99 United States Senators, he is a committed congressional leader, a consummate negotiator, and a knowledgeable champion of the United States Constitution. He is many things to many people, but to everyone, Senator Arlen Specter is a remarkable and irreplaceable fixture of American political life. He has come to embody the intelligence, the conflict, the debate, and the plain common sense and decency of our great democracy. Born in Wichita and raised in the small town of Russell, Kansas, Arlen Specter was one of four children born to Harry and Lillian Shannon Specter. His father, a wounded veteran of the Great War, worked hard as a peddler and tailor to support his young family. Both parents were immigrants who came to America in search of a new life and new opportunities. Their son Arlen made the most of those opportunities. Following high school, young Arlen Specter left behind the wide open country of America's heartland and came east to study at the University of Pennsylvania. In 1951, he graduated Phi Beta Kappa from Penn with a degree in international relations. There, among the historic brick halls of America's first university, he discovered within himself a deep love of the law as well as a passion for politics. Both would have to wait. The Korean War interrupted the plans of many young Americans, and Arlen Specter was one of them. He enlisted in the United States Air Force and served stateside as a second lieutenant in the Office of Special Investigations. Specter completed his military service in 1953, and in the same year married Joan Lois Levy. Three years later, he graduated from Yale University Law School, leaving behind a lasting reputation as a star debater on the Yale Law Debating Team and an editor of the Yale Law Review. After that, Arlen Specter never slowed down and never looked back. Following three years in the law offices of Barnes, Deckert, Price, Myers, and Rhodes, Specter joined the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office in 1959 as an assistant district attorney. There, as a young ADA, Specter furthered his reputation as a tough and honest lawyer with a quick legal mind and the prosecutorial zeal required to root out corruption. It was during this period that the 33-year-old ADA came to the notice of Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy. Later, with the recommendation of United States Representative Gerald R. Ford, Specter was asked to work on one of the major projects occupying the mind of America, the Warren Commission investigating the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Specter served as an assistant counsel on the commission and, setting the tone early for his entire political career to follow, placed himself squarely in the path of controversy as the author of The Single Bullet Theory. Returning to Philadelphia after the Commission's work was concluded, Arlen Specter chased an early dream by running for and winning election as the city's district attorney at the age of 35. After two terms and a failed bid for mayor, Specter returned to private life. But the desire to serve would not go away. In 1976, his bid to serve in the United States Senate fell short in a primary loss to John Hines. And again, in a 1978 run for governor, he lost the Republican primary to Richard Thornburg. Back-to-back -back losses of that magnitude might have stopped most people in their tracks, but not Arlen Specter. Two years later, he ran for the seat vacated by Richard Schweiker's retirement and won election as Pennsylvania's junior senator in Washington, D.C. There, in the more than quarter century that has followed, Senator Specter has served the people of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania with distinction and honor as Pennsylvania's longest-serving United States senator. 
He has built a reputation of toughness and fair-mindedness. Arlen Specter is the one who's not afraid to ask the hard questions, nor has he ever walked away from an important fight or shied away from controversy. Sometimes blunt, always brilliant. And when Congress is in recess, Arlen Specter is busy traveling the highways and byways of the state he represents, visiting all 67 of the Commonwealth's counties in a tireless effort to stay connected with Pennsylvania's people. Among his many leadership roles, Senator Specter is ranking member of the Senate Judiciary Committee and a senior member of the Appropriations and Veterans Affairs Committees. During his congressional career, Senator Specter has worked in key roles to promote homeland security, veterans' rights, medical research, worker safety, and education, to name just a few. Without question, one of the hardest working members of Congress, Specter was named one of America's 10 best senators by Time magazine in 2006. And while undergoing chemotherapy for Hodgkin's disease, he maintained a full schedule of senatorial duties. Thankfully, the senator has since been given a clean bill of health. Proud residents of the city of Philadelphia, Arlen and Joan Specter have two sons, Shannon and Stephen, and are the grandparents of Sylvie, Perry, Lily, and Hattie. Brilliant legal mind, bipartisan politician, Formidable adversary, indispensable ally. Senator Specter is many things to many people, but to everyone, he is one of a kind. <laughs>